<clears throat> and this smells like I'm not sure what it smells like it smells like maybe they have put some a bronzel lighter hey guys welcome back to my channel it's Yen so I'm back with another review and it's mainly on lipsticks again but you know I love lipsticks and I know a lot of you guys do too as well so the brand that I am reviewing today is a bit special for me it's a fairly new local brand in Hong Kong and it's called Woke Cosmetics I have no idea if I'm saying that correctly um, it's actually called Woke Up Like This it's a cosmetic brand created by Pumpkin Jen um, so she's a Hong Kong youtuber if you don't know and she recently has her own line of cosmetics She has a physical store now in Hong Kong, which is really great It's so aesthetically pleasing and um, everything is just pink and like really neat and simple and clean and they have also a bit of like a retro vibe kind of going on in her shop. So before we dive into the products which I have a whole bag of right here. Let me talk about more of her brand. Oh, it's actually called Walt Beauty. I'm sorry if I got any of this wrong. I think she partnered up with her friend Tanya, and in their store, they actually carry a few different brands of products, including skincare and makeup, and they also provide facial treatments as well. To my knowledge, Tanya already had a skincare line before Walt Cosmetics, or Walt, before Walt Beauty, I keep on saying that wrong. In their physical store, they do carry Tanya's skincare line. Of course, they carry their own makeup product, and they also carry a few different brands of skincare and cosmetic items. And the good news is everything in their store is clean beauty, which means they're vegan, they're cruelty-free, so everything you get from their store is all clean which I really appreciate a lot because there isn't a lot of clean beauty brands in Hong Kong or at least they're not like easily found so I got quite a few stuff from Walt during my last visit to their store and this is actually the shopping bag that they gave me I think it's made by a group of women who supports themselves or something like that it's a kind of like NGO I think and they made these shopping bags these are 100% reusable they are so sturdy and they look really really nice so I got a couple products from you know the brand itself Walt and I also got a few different things from other clean beauty brands as well so we'll get into that later so let's start with the review so from Walt Beauty I got their sunscreen and also all of their lipsticks which are called the lip dabs <laughs> which are called the lip dabs, um, but I'm going to get into those later. Um, we're going to talk about the sunscreen first. So this is called the Physical Sun Fluff by Skin Need. So Skin Need is actually the uh, skincare brand that's created by Tanya. I'm not sure if Jen got involved into their skincare brand with like the formulation and the production, so I don't know. They have quite a few shades of their sunscreen. The one that I got is in Good Nude, which is in a nude peachy color. So this is just a physical sunscreen and this is slightly tinted as you can see, but once you blend it out, it honestly becomes, um, it just looks like nothing on your skin, but it gives your skin this slight luminosity. It feels really nice and it's really fluffy like the name suggested. Smells like uh, essential oils. They come in three different shades. I got this particular shade just because I thought it suit my skin tone more. This is also an SPF 30 PA3 pluses, so you get quite a bit of sun protection with this sunscreen. The sunscreen does provide a slight luminosity to your skin. It's not dewy or moisturizing in any way. It's just um, after you apply it on your skin, it really feels like nothing. It just reflects light just a tiny, tiny bit. I double this up as a sunscreen and as my primer. Even though it's slightly tinted, this for me, it provides almost no coverage or the slightest, slightest bit of color correction, if you will. So if you have a bit of discoloration in your skin tone, this will help make it look better. It's not going to cover everything. It's not really going to cover anything at all, like your dark circles, your blemishes, your spots. It's This is not going to cover it but it will even out your skin tone and your complexion. The reason that I also double this up as a primer is because it, it does work really, really well under makeup. If I want to look extra flawless that day, I will put on some pore filling primer uh, around the center of my face, but I think that's really about it. I mainly just use this on its own under my makeup and this works really, really nice. 
Okay, next up. And while Beauty first came out, their first launch were these lip dabs. So these are essentially liquid lipsticks. You'll see in a bit. I kept their packaging because they look really cute. And I think Jen might have drawn them herself. Like she might have designed the packaging herself. This is what it looks like out of the packaging. It's just plain white plastic packaging and it has the shade name under it. I don't really know what to call them. Their product name is called the Lip Dab. If I have to categorize, it, it's more like a liquid lipstick. It doesn't really work like any kind of liquid lipsticks that I really know of. They are really, really super, super watery. And when you apply these on your lips, they are super, super, super thin. So thin, it's like you can barely feel it on your lips. I couldn't really say it's like a melted lipstick in a tube because this honestly doesn't feel like anything that I have in my collection and I do have quite a lot of lip products as you know. I think Jen and Tanya are doing something really phenomenal here. So I'm just gonna show you the consistency at the back of my hand. So when you first swatch it, it's pretty opaque like this and as you can see there's a slight gloss to it. It's a shiny finish. So on your lips you don't really have to apply like this whole stripe of color. You just need a few dots. But let me show you the magic. When you blend this out, so beautiful. They blend out so easy. They can honestly cover my whole hand. And this is what the finishing looks like. So as you can see, after you dab it out, it looks kind of like it, it's more of a satin finish. And you can see that it's super, super light on the hand. It's so lightweight. So you actually get a lot of control on this product. If you want it to be super sheer like this, if you want to build it up, you can just apply a few more layers. If you really want to, you can also double this up as a blush. It can be like a liquid blush and then you just dab it out on your cheeks. So I'm wearing two of the lip dabs on my lips right now, I layer them up. So I first had the color Proven Wrong. It's a brown nudie shade. And then I have Got Your Back, which is a pink mauve on top of Proven Wrong. So this is the lip color from the combo. I love it so much. I love how versatile these lip dabs are. I'll include the lip swatch in this video in a later bit so you can see all the shades and all the colors. For some reason, they're pretty moisturizing on the lips. Uh, my lips are actually pretty dry today. Once I put this lipstick on, you can't see my dead skin cells. They look perfect. The lip dab leaves a bit of a... Um, it's just like a slight stickiness on your lips. It's not like really stringy and really thick. It's just a slight stick. It's like, I don't know, I, I honestly don't. It's almost, oh, it's almost like you, do you know how when you're younger, you kind of roll the lollipop on your lips and then smack your lips and then that kind of sticky feeling? It kind of feels like that just a bit. I don't really mind that kind of sticky feeling. I like it so much. And you also have to keep in mind that these are regular lipsticks, so these are not matte or like those traditional liquid lipsticks. So these will wear off throughout the day or when you eat or when you drink, they will come off a bit. They tint your lips just the slightest bit, not in a way that you can remove it. The longevity is pretty okay as a, you know, like a regular lip product. You will need to reapply this throughout the day after you have your meal or your drink or you know, all of that. They have five shades of these, and let's go ahead with the lip swatch.
So that's all with the Walt Beauty makeup products. So from their physical store, I actually picked up three more products that are not from their own brand, but these are all clean beauty brands. These products are so beautiful and I have to get them. So I got one product from the brand called Beauty Archive. This is a organic product and it's vegan and it's a eyes and cheek color cream. And so obviously it's a cream product. It's in the shade Sundown. When I saw this product, I just fell in love with it immediately. Let me show you. I usually use this as a cheek color. It's not what I'm wearing today. I, I should have, but I, I don't know why I didn't. So this is a really beautiful um, nudie, burnt orange type of nude color and it also has a bit of brown in it. I usually use this as a blush because I do really like brown nude blushes on me and this is just a really really special color. I just love this. Absolutely amazing. And this blush doesn't move anywhere. It's a cream but it's not really slippy and slidey. It's actually really nice. This kind of gives your skin more of a velvet finish so it's not exactly matte. It's not exactly satin either. It's just something right in between and it's really nice and it almost makes you look like you you're flushing from your own skin naturally so i love this so much this is sundown so i got two more products from the brand i have no idea what the brand name is i think it's called manasi I have, I have no idea. It's either called Manasi 7 or M7 or Beauty Evolution or something so I have to really educate myself, but I'll do that later. So I got two products from this brand. The first one that I got is absolutely stunning. This is called the All Over Color in the shade Alizarin, and it's a cream multi. So as you can see from the pot, this is bright, deep, blood red. You can use this as a cheek color, a lip color, and it's just, look at the shade, it's so beautiful. So pretty. So it's actually not as deep or as red as you thought from the pot. It's more of a um, rosy tone, kind of a red. Of course, you can always build this up. I can build it up by dabbing in more products, like layering them more. I usually use this as a lip color because I like reddish, pinkish lips all the time. Maybe when I'm tanner next summer, um, I'll be able to wear this as a blush. But for the meantime, I really like it as a lip product and as you can see it's really similar to sundown uh, in terms of the finishing it's more on the velvet side not exactly matte not not exactly satin it's really sturdy it's not those kind of slip slippy and slidey cream products that i really don't like i love this by the way this is like one of the things that i was like i have to get this i need this in my life onwards to the last product it's also from manasi 7 if you know what the brand name is actually pronounced, let me know. So this product is actually called a bronze lighter and it's in the shade Rose Rosite. I, I don't know how to pronounce these names. Rosite, Rosate, Rosette. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. When I saw this, it's just so stunning. It has like a slight shimmer. It's like a brown bronzy type of color. So beautiful. You can use it as a bronzer, as a highlighter. I also use this as an eyeshadow, a cream eyeshadow. It's really beautiful. For me, this will definitely be a bronzer type of a shade because I'm not that dark. This can be my highlighter. It still looks beautiful on the pot, but it doesn't look like something much. But on the skin, it just gives you this dimension, this glow so pretty. For some reason, I'm not wearing these on my eyes again today. I should have. I'm sorry. If you only put this on your eyelids alone, it will look like um, you have that no makeup look, kind of, but it also give your, gives your eyes a lot of dimension, which I really, really like. I just went to get my battery changed and it's going out really soon, so I'm gonna end this really quick. So this is that bronzy shade I really like. This product has more of a whipped kind of texture. It's more creamy compared to the other two cream products. Using this as an eye color, I will have to use a primer and I will have to set it with another powder product so it doesn't move too much on my eyes. But that's only because I do have really oily eyelids. Everything just melts on my eye, basically. So that's about it, but the shade is so beautiful. So pretty. So these are all the shades. Ta-da! 
So that's about it from me today. So these are all the products that we cover. It turns out that I really, really like Walt Beauty and other clean beauty brands that they're carrying in their shop. They're so good. It's such an amazing way to introduce people to get into clean beauty by coming up with like awesome products. And I really congratulate Jen and Tanya for making Walt Beauty. I think the products are really successful. They're so beautiful. I enjoy using them a lot. They are such a benefit to our appearance, to our confidence, to our health and to the environment. So I really do thank you guys for introducing more clean beauty products to the Hong Kong industry. We definitely need more of these clean stuff, vegan, organic, natural, just all out there, cruelty free. Cruelty free is so important. That's about it for me today. If you're interested, you can head on to their website or their physical store. It's really cute. So if you're in the area, you can definitely go check that out. Last note, this video is not sponsored at all. I wish it were. <laughs> If they were to sponsor me anything, I would be super happy to try it out because I already have a really great first impression from their products and their customer service and everything. Their staff are really friendly, so just ask them anything if you have any questions. So I hope this video is helpful for you and go support some local beauty brands that are this good and they're clean. So thank goodness for that. My battery is about to run out really, really soon. So I'll just end this video here. Leave me, oh, oh my gosh, I almost dropped the bag. Leave me any questions or comments down below. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my face and I will see you next time. Peace.